a jelly donut uh, with all the jelly pushed to the side and, and you know fatter on one side of the donut that's a bulge whereas if you squash that um, uh, jelly donut and the jelly shoots out the side that is a herniation Hi, my name is Dr. David Cullum. I'm a board certified chiropractor since 1999. And today I want to discuss with you the difference between a disc bulge and a disc herniation. Now, when a uh, radiologist or a chiropractor is looking at an MRI, the uh, difference between a bulge and a herniation can be subjective, meaning there's a fine line between the two, okay? So um, if a radiologist or a chiropractor is a little bit more on the aggressive side with his reading of MRIs, he may call uh, a bulge and a uh, herniation, whereas another radiologist may call that a large disc bulge. So again, you can see there's a fine line between a large disc bulge and a small herniation, if that makes any sense. So let's go into the disc. This is a normal disc. Picture the disc like a jelly donut, okay? You have this outer fibrous layer, which you see right here, and that fibrous layer is the strongest part of the disc, but not that strong, okay? And then you have the middle, the nucleus propulsus, okay, or nucleus, and then the outer layer is called the annulus. And then behind that disc, you have your spinal cord, and then right here, you have a nerve on each side. And then this is the bone, the spinal bone. This is a side view of it. So when your disc is normal, there's a nice big hole here for the foramina and the nerve to exit through that hole in the spine without any pressure on it from the disc. That's what we want, of course, a normal disc. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people with abnormal discs. Now, here is one example, a disc bulge. Uh, a disc bulge is also called a protrusion. Uh, a lot of people ask me um, about a slip disc. Technically, there is no such thing as a slipped disc. But when a doctor uses that term, it's a, it's a loose term for saying a disc injury or a disc bulge, but there technically is no such thing. A disc cannot slip out of its place. It's uh, anchored down by adhesions into the vertebra. Okay, it's just the middle of the disc that can be displaced, okay? So a bulge is also called a protrusion. A bulge is when the nucleus propulsus, the center, uh, mostly made up of water, uh, pushes towards the outer fibrous layer or the annulus. And in this case, the bulge is pushing against the nerve. And you can see the side view, it's pinching the nerve there. So a disc bulge can be reversed. Luckily, with uh, certain techniques like spinal decompression and Cox flexion distraction technique, disc bulges can be corrected. They are not permanent injuries. However, a disc herniation is a permanent injury. That doesn't mean you're gonna be in pain for the rest of your life, but the herniation itself is not going to correct itself. Now, when you have a disc herniation, that disc loses some of its height and you end up getting a degenerative disc over time. But when you have that disc herniation, the difference between the herniation and the bulge is the center or the nucleus propulsus has broken through the outer fibrous layer or the annulus. So a jelly donut uh, with all the jelly pushed to the side and, and you know fatter on one side of the donut, that's a bulge. Whereas if you squash that um, uh, jelly donut and the jelly shoots out the side, that is a herniation. Now the center material, nucleus propulsus, can cause a chemical reaction which can really irritate and chafe the nerve, causing all sorts of uh, nerve pain like shooting pain down the arm, numbness, tingling, same thing with down the leg, sciatic neuropathy. So. Um, that kind of explains the difference between a disc bulge and a disc herniation. And the other word that uh, is used interchangeably for a disc herniation is a prolapse. But I will warn you, a lot of times I've seen on radiologist reports um, a disc bulge and they call it a prolapse. So sometimes these words are, are not used correctly, but 
technical terms, a protrusion is a bulge. Prolapse is a herniation. And again, depending on the radiologist or the chiropractor reading the MRI and how aggressive he is on that, he can uh, label maybe a large disc bulge as a small disc herniation. So I hope that clears up and answers any of your questions about the difference between a disc bulge and a disc herniation or a disc protrusion and a disc prolapse. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. Thanks for tubing in and I hope you hit the subscribe button. I hope you like this video and let me know if you have any other questions. Again, just comment below. Thanks again.